Hello friends, can you hear me now? That's good, because I finally made a stand for my microphone. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how you can make one for yourself. Alright, I've been wanting to make a stand for this microphone for quite some time now instead of just clamping it to a chair and moving it around. So I had some leftover half inch OSB plywood laying around from this video, the silhouettes from back in the fall, and I cut some two and a half and some three inch wide strips, which was just wide enough for this random bolt that I found that attached to the, um, the mount for the microphone. I cut the strips as long as I could, which in this case was just under five foot, which is good because I'm six foot five and I like to be able to stand and talk sometimes. As you can see, the boards were warped, so I ended up having to uh, glue and nail them down with brad nails. Now, I don't have a nail gun yet, so I did it the good old fashioned way with a hammer and it worked just fine. And of course, once you put those nails in there, that acted as a placeholder and the glue dried perfectly fine, everything was nice and square. Once the glue had dried, I needed to cover up the holes in the top and the bottom, so I made a base for the thing to balance on, and I also made this funky looking pyramid to cover up the hole at the top. This is all with some more half inch plywood that was lying around. Once the glue had dried on everything, of course I needed to sand all my rough edges, because there's nothing worse than getting a splinter on a project months after you've made it. It's just obnoxious. I tipped it on its side and I applied some nonstick rubber feet to the bottom. And then I wanted to show off all those holes. So the bolt is a little bit over three inches long. It just goes straight through from the back to the front. And I've got a little washer that goes on, which of course I didn't apply at that point. And I just screw on the mount and it's nice and tight and I can put my microphone right in place. See, piece of cake. And there's the final product. You notice that it's solid, non-adjustable, and it's a little bit taller than my tripod. Uh, 10 points to anybody who actually watched that video last fall. The tripod has been very useful. All right, so here I am filming, and obviously this is in the frame. In the future, this will probably be, be as far away from my mouth, because you can hear me really well, but it'll be on the opposite side, and it'll be out of frame, so you won't be able to see it, but hopefully you'll be able to hear me much better. Um, up to this point, this mic has been like down over here, sitting in front of me, and I've been projecting over it, which has been making it sound more echoey, so I hope that this will alleviate some of those problems moving forward. Now, you'll also notice from the video that this is an adjustable mic, so let me stand up. Alrighty, here we are, eye level, face to face, and you can hear how wonderful I sound, as if I were standing in front of a microphone and singing, You are my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So I'll keep playing around with the volume, and I think that the stand is going to be very helpful. It was a piece of cake to make, and I'm very glad I did. So, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I'm the Midwest Man Mountain. Be sure to subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.